It's time for Peep Show. We're starting Series 3. This is Episode 1. Mugging is what it is. So, Or is it? But you know what, though? I feel like the titles on these are, are fairly okay. They're not wildly inaccurate. Not 100%. Slightly more accurate than the Gervais show was. Yeah. And that's yes. not by a lot, though. <laughs> no, no. But I can't wait, man. I let's cannot wait. Let's dive into the let's, cringe. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Yes. The love of your life's coming back today. Finish this shitty relationship. Shot to the head. Clean kill. You're going to have to plunge a lot harder than that. It's compacted back to Greece. She might go angry. And I don't like her when she's angry. Just got to tough it out. Listen, Michelle, about us. I've been thinking about us. I'm looking for a lodger. And you and me do go really good together. Well, I was thinking, how about you move in? Oh, right. That's interesting, because I was thinking that I like you loads and loads, obviously, but that also we could not see each other anymore. Stop seeing each other? How's that going to work? Well, instead of us calling each other up and beating up and hanging out, we could try not. Jez, you're so funny. Oh, what are you afraid of? You. Nothing. It's just... You see, what I'm hearing loud and clear is that you're desperate for this relationship to grow. You just don't know how to make it happen. Right, no. What I was saying was that we should split up and not see each other anymore because... Jess, you've had your say. Now it's my turn. You know how we have such an amazing time in bed together? Hmm. Well, I was thinking, what if we took it to the next level? Act out our dirtiest fantasies. What would that involve, exactly? Anything. You can tell, Michelle. I guess I've always wondered what it might be like to have a threesome. Is that too much? Are you kidding? That's vanilla. Let's do it. That's vanilla. vanilla. <laughs> Tonight's the night. If that is her response to a threesome, that's vanilla. <laughs> Unless you are into that already, run the other way. <laughs> run the other way. Yeah. What? This, I this love... is the type... I Go just ahead. sorry, man. I love the fact that he's trying to break up and she's just not letting him. What is that supposed to work like that ever? No, once you say we're done, that's it. There's no going back. Yep. But then again, this is peep show, and that kind of logic doesn't exist on this show. No, it does not. And I've I've long since I've stopped trying to find it. I, I'm just. <laughs> Gonna enjoy this for what it is. Like, yeah, man. At the time that we're recording this, I'm still going through all the in betweener stuff, and like, that is tame compared to this stuff. Yes. Oh, almighty. Yes. Uh, but you know what, though? To be honest, I'm glad we got through the in betweeners because it makes me appreciate this a lot. Yeah, it's kind of primed the pump. Yes. Exactly. Mm, 100%. Sophie's actually coming over for some work. Yay! <laughs> no, I actually think there'll be much work, except sex work don't think of it like work what fish pie then missionary sex and news night afterwards classic might make a joke about paxman and the economics woman paxo paxo wants to stuff stuffing it's got to be a joke there if... what, mate? will you lend us your phone mate what lend us your fucking phone why well i need to make a call don't you have your own phone come on lend us your phone right it, it's just Neither a lender nor a borrower be. Do you think we're some pair of shit houses? No, God no, it's a blackberry. Give us your phone, give us your wallet. Come on, before we fucking do you. Do me? Are they gonna rape me or kill me? If they rape and kill me, I hope they kill me first. I sort of win. Is that it? That's... You got nothing else? Yes. What else? There's my travel card. That's great. Help the muggers. What do you want? <laughs> Approval? All right. Now piss off. Oh, this really takes the biscuit. Foster. I thought it was at least the muggers who had to run off. The victim flees. Foster! Oh, this really leaves a sour taste. Oh, God. What? I... Wow, Mark. What the fight? Wow. Yeah. You are not a man at all. You're a little bitch boy that's i i don't know man that's just like you gotta make them work for it a little a little yeah. give me your phone i'm sorry and then punch him in the throat something those two oh. didn't even look hard 
as the only advantage of living in America and seeing hard gangsters, those two are soft. I could easily take those guys out. If not, they will work for my wallet, which has nothing in it. Now, there's nothing in my wallet either. I don't carry cash with me. Oh, my God. God <laughs> almighty. It just hurts. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah. It hurts as a man. Oh, man. Come on, dude. Seriously, guys. Come on, Mark. This will be okay. I'll just do the threesome tomorrow, then finish with a bit ungentlemanly, but then it's a threesome. It's not exactly Romeo and Juliet, is it? Hey, well, you all right? No need to tell him what happened. It's just not, button up, like the 40s. People saw terrible things in the war. They didn't go on and on about them. They had a cup of tea and invented the NHS instead. Cool, mate. If I have a bit of your parsley... Get away! Fuck off my stuff! It's just a bit of parsley. The, look, I, it's just... On the way home, I, I got... These blokes mugged me. Oh, man. That is unlucky. Of course. They target the frail. They smell the weak. So, what happened? Did they pull a knife? No, not, not a knife. Jesus. A shooter? No, they, they didn't have a... There was two of them. They asked to borrow my phone, but they didn't really want to borrow it. No. Then they asked for my wallet. So... They asked, and you just gave them your wallet. <laughs> Jeremy, I, I was in the underpass with these two... Gentlemen who asked for your possessions. Mark, you've got to toughen up. This is the 21st century. You've seen Mad Max, haven't you? <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Mad Max is not necessarily going to happen. Oh, sure, mate. You live in your hitchhiker's guide world, where you wander around in your dressing gown and have a nice cup of tea. Yes, well, look, anyway, Sophie's coming over, so I'm going to need the cooker. Right, it's just, I was hoping, it's my big meal, the big night with Big Sue's. Right, D did you finish with Michelle? No, she offered me a threesome. But what about, I thought you were dead set on getting back together with Big Sue's. Oh, I am, Mark, totally. She called again tonight. God, what a great call. It was like the old days, she was laughing like a maniac. Right, so what about the threesome, what about Michelle? Oh, well, I had a bit of a plan about that. I thought I wouldn't tell Big Sue's about Michelle or the threesome. Oh, right. Brilliant. It's good, isn't it? Jez, look, are you sure about Big Sue's? It's just it took you such a long, long time to get over her leaving you. In a way, you never totally got over her leaving you. Well, that's just as well then, isn't it? Because now she's coming back. Oh, shut up! <laughs> good burn. Great fish pie, Mark. Thank you, Sev. Thanks very much. I, I may not be an expert, but I do my best, and that's all anyone can ask. Just subtly lowering her expectations in the bedroom there. So, I, I was thinking maybe we could work a, a bit better in the bedroom. It's fine if you don't want to, but... Sure, great. Oh, my God, she's a man-eater. She's going to chew me up and spit me out. Whoa. Mark, hey, Soph, where's all the Ikea candles? It's Sue's! Big Sue's is here! Hi, Jeremy. Big Sue's. My God, you're looking great. Three years. Three bloody years. I know, and look at you. God, you've changed so much. Although, I think you might be wearing exactly the same clothes as when I last saw you. Right, what a weird coincidence. Oh, we should leave that for Stu. What's Stu? Who's Stu? Stu's my man. My hunk of monk. What the hell do you mean by that? Just that he used to be a monk, that's all. He's just parking up the golf. But your man, because I thought we, on the phone there was all the laughing. I thought, what was all the laughing for? Oh. It's just laughing. Oh, right. What's the problem, Jez? I thought this was going to be nice. I'm with Stu, you're with good old Michelle. Shit, they're still in contact. Think of something. No, I'm not. Oh, right. Well, she just said... No, that was just a mistake, followed by a series of subsequent mistakes, which, when you look at all together, really don't add up to much. Anyway, I've done all that now, so there's nothing stopping us. We should let Stu in. Should we, though? Hey, stupid. This is Jez. Oh, my... Hi, I'm her ex. Oh, Jez, don't be stupid. What the... Oh, my God. I, I know we just said that we're going to get used to this cringe, but sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's not that easy. But <sighs> is, 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 it, is it just all men? I think so. That we just can't communicate when it matters. Yeah. That's our downfall. It's a like, lot of our downfall, and it's also a lot of women that just don't know how to uh, communicate, say stuff out loud either. So it's yeah. both. 
It's both. Uh, that's it's tough, man. Failure. He's in a bad position, man. I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. We were never really. We lived together for a year and a half. I, well, we did, but in 2002, in that weird flat. The love shack. Listen, can we take a shower? No. It's a really sweaty flight. There isn't that much hot water. Well, that's fine, we'll share. See you in an hour or so. He's a monk. He's going to have 15 years of spunk backed up. How am I supposed to compete with that? Wow, this is a lot of candles. It's actually getting pretty hot in here. I tried opening a window, but a lot of them blew out, which I suppose actually shows that electric light's actually quite a lot better, although I know that's not a very fashionable thing to say. What am I talking about? Jeremy's sex CD. Better than big Bond themes, I guess. <laughs> Bond wouldn't get mugged. Bollocks! Forgot to call and stop the phone. Could go out and do it now. Pretend I need a dump. Not very sexy. So, Mark, time for us to get down to some work. Oh. Oh, yeah. What is Come going on. on? This is it. This is really happening. Relax. What stop happened? worrying about the muggers and their free calls. I'm getting sexy. He's going to let everything that happened to him with the mugging get in the way of finally nailing his dream girl. I, so this is the, the opener of the third se third season, right? Yeah. There's a lot of explaining <laughs> that needs to be done. There's a lot of hole filling. That's a bad <laughs> pun. I feel like what I thought he, she was with the dude still. That's what I, I don't remember at this point, man. We're... I thought they had just broken up and they Mark was over. And that he cheated on his then court wife. And I'm just like, where is it? It's just crazy. I, it throws us in a whole different trajectory. When did he get the girl? Yeah. Well, I think whoever Sophie was uh, with at the time, they're not a thing anymore. Wow. I think Nancy uh, moved out because he caught, she caught Jez cheating or something. Yep. So I mean, she wasn't so. even in the, in the opening credits. She's not in this else. series. So, All right. That's what happens when we have such busy lives. It just Everything else just goes out the window. <laughs> I know you had a bit of a stressful morning this morning. So. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm tracking. I'm going to try to... I'm here. Let's do it. All right. Bastards. They're probably going through my address book, randomly deleting contacts. That's probably how they get their kicks. Shit, I'm not kissing right. Plus, nothing growing in the pants department. I'm as limp as a charity wristband. Gotta stop thinking about the muggers. Be in the moment, Corrigan. Shit, she's snaking up the thigh. But there's nothing at the top of it. Abort! So, great. Great, that, that was great, Soph. Lovely to loot. Right. Shut up. I think we should probably... This work isn't going to do itself. The work? Yep, the, the bloody work. I don't really care about the work, Mark. Oh, oh. What? Oh, <laughs> sure, sure, sure you don't, Soph. Right, now where's that broadband cable? I should be able to... Uh... Mark. I know it's taken us a while to get here, but this feels really right. Please don't touch my floppy cock. <laughs> I want you to be sure. I am sure. So, shall we? Oh, God, I, I want to. It, it's just these damn reports. Oh. Shut up, dude. God, how long does a shower take? Still, drinking alone. <laughs> he's just, so he's drinking alone and so much cringe. So much cringe. I just, it still baffles my mind how much these writers hated, hated Mark. Whenever they wrote this, man, they're like, fuck this guy. All yeah. the time. Oh Not God. in the good way. Not in the good way. God. What's the big deal? Why is it necessarily a bad thing? If you drink a bottle of vodka and there's a bloke sitting next to you, does that somehow make it all right? I'm really parched, mate. Or if I have a swig or something. Whatever. Jesus. That's what a man should look like. Those arms, they're amazing. Like boughs of sturdy English oak. My God, if you had them wrapped around you, you just feel so safe. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to say, you obviously got some feelings about Sue's and the past, and that's cool. So listen, man, really nice to meet you, and no hard feelings. Yeah? Sure. <laughs> How do you like that, Stu, you monk? What? What does that even mean? You know what it means, Stu, from how it makes you feel. That's what it means. Welcome to big school. Good burn. Who needs to be a man when you've got a knife? What are you doing Good with a knife? Mr. Patel and his illegal supply of knives. Come on then, Mark. T-Mobile gave you the numbers the mugger called. Ring the numbers. Might be able to get my Blackberry back and not get humiliated by Patrick in IT. Hey, 
you looking so serious about there, Mr Corrigan? Oh, uh, just nothing. Because I was wondering how far a girl like you might go on a second date. Oh, <laughs> well, at, at least second base. Ooh, Relax, second let it happen. But nothing stirring. <coughs> Uh-oh, she's going to feel the knife. Can't let her feel the what hard knife or the soft cock. Look, uh, Sophie, this, this is a hell of a laugh and all, and, and I love horseplay and light-heartedness and, and having a great time. But you know, there's codes of conduct and disciplinary procedures, and it just makes me very nervous. All right, Mark, I'm just screwing around. I'm not going to get it on in the photocopying room. Yes, Sophie, I, I know, really. Let's have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'm just... Yeah, I'm old-fashioned. I, I like courting. Look, why don't we go to the pictures? Sure, shall I bring a chaperone? <laughs> I, I like your joke, Sophie. Uh, point well made. Later, baby. Note to self, re-being the Fonz. Mark, you are not the Fonz. <laughs> I remember a bit on Would I Lie to You where he said, I don't express my feelings or something like that, but that's just because I'm British or something like that. <laughs> and that's being <laughs> exemplified right here. It just saying straight up, I can't get it out because I got mugged. But then again, uh, maybe that's emasculating. It probably is. But at the same time... At least there's some sort of psychological reason. Dude, I'm trying to figure out where these efforts have my BlackBerry. Because back then, that was the, a pretty expensive phone. And my my BlackBerry isn't working. <laughs> Two Ronnies. Or, or sorry, the one Ronnie. Because I've tried... I try to have problems with my Apple. I, anyway, that's I'm getting uh, off on a tangent on that. Definitely on a tangent. But that was, no, very valid, though. I got that. I love the BlackBerry punts threesome oh here i come no need for big sue's ever even to know about big sue's hi jeremy here for the threesome well oh my god i'm gonna have a threesome with big sue's michelle's not some sort of macho sexual terrorist she's brilliant hey jess hi so sue's brilliant to see you it's great isn't it everyone's a winner i need somewhere to live and michelle needs a lodger you're moving in with michelle it's great isn't it i'd forgotten how sweet she is oh that smile I know. Have an amazing time with the threesome. Where's she? Come on, there's someone in the living room I'd like to introduce you to. Oh, oh. no. Jeremy, meet Vicky. What? Hi there. Does he know the ground rules? What? Has he had a shower? It doesn't look like he showered. Why isn't she talking to me? Look, Vicky's just very busy. She's not all that sure about this whole thing. She's doing me a massive favour. She'd just rather not talk to you. Vicky, shall we go and get ready? Yes. You know where the bathroom is. You'll find a bottle of antibacterial shower wash by the basin. I will have had a threesome. So, Jez, a threesome. That'll be nice. My friend Jen did a threesome God. once. She said she cried for about an hour afterwards, but I'd still definitely like to try it sometime. Right. You don't want to go back out with me, do you? Oh, Jez, you're such a nice guy, but I think maybe it wasn't meant to be. Oh, my God. Jez, we're ready! Missy, come on, you can skip the shower. Just use a flannel. Vicky doesn't want to miss her train. Oh, my God. This is great. I'm having it large. It's like I'm living in a porno. Except porn stars probably get lovely sedatives so they feel like they're not what? really there. Lovely sedatives. What? Oh, my God. I, I what just, the hell? I, I'm just watching it. I'm watching a train wreck. I would just walk out of there. I just immediately, when I knew it wasn't the... Two girls I wanted it to be, I'd walk the hell out. Oh, I'm dude, like, no, I'm gone. If I open the door and I see my ex, I'm gone. I'm just like, I'm not walking to a pit of vipers. Goodbye. I, it just doesn't, I just know that's just bad tactics. You don't do that. You don't walk into that shit, man. No, especially if it's with your current that you tried to break up with and it failed. And the substitution in the threesome is someone that's like that. I don't have no words for that. No, and then on top of it, you just got put in the friend zone by the person you wanted to get back with. And it's Ugh. like, everything's going wrong. It's literal Murphy's Law right now. 100%. Oh, my Ugh. God. All right. That wasn't depressing. That was great. Big Sue's out of my life forever. So what? I'm getting threesomes. Why have I never thought about drinking in the day before? What's more fun than a couple of nice cold beer skis? What's depressing about that? Nothing. You can't be depressed when you're pissed. It's not possible. 
Jeremy, I've got a lead. This kid says he can get my phone back. I've got to meet him at Chicken Corner. I need backup. I'm on it. Jess, where are you? I'm at the supermarket. Are you drunk? Yeah, I'm doing the big shop, and I'm doing it brilliantly. Jez, you're not just buying chocolate crisps and booze, are you? No. I also have dips. I'll say I ate the dips. I just hope, Jez, the drinking, it hasn't become a problem. Of course not. Shut up. Don't knock the drinking. It was while I was drinking that I came up with my plan about Stu. What's your plan? I'm going to hit him. That's not really a plan as such. Of course it's a plan. It's a fucking brilliant plan. I plan to hit him. What isn't a plan about that? Well, I'll see you in a bit. God, I must look so cool to her. Like Pete Doherty or Bukowski. That's right, honey. I'm a street-fighting man. God, she's probably getting wet just looking at me. Hold your what? horses, honey. I've got coupons for the Pringles. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got coupons for the Pringles. <laughs> look, we've both been drunk. We've been drunk on the channel before. Oh, yeah. It's happened. But I've never been so drunk that I admit that I got coupons for the Pringles. Coupons for the Pringles. That That's the different level. That's the yeah. next level. Yeah. Wow. I love that's, that. That's a good flex. Some, <laughs> someone's saying they got coupons for the Pringles. They, they yep. need help badly. And no, yep. there's nothing uh, wrong with having a few brewskis before uh, during the day. No, oh, this is just Dr. Pepper. Never mind. Yep. I, I was gonna make a joke there. Yep. No, there's none. None. Day drinking is is more of a. Uh, it's just an acceptance of your day. Yep. More of a welcoming That's... in of your day and life. <laughs> People like... call it alcoholism. It's more day drinking <laughs> every day, followed by shower tears. Great rhythm. It's a sick. <laughs> Love it. Oh my god. So thanks for coming. Obviously, your mate. I don't approve of what he's done, but there's no reason why we can't be civil. Sure. So, what I'm after, what I'm demanding, is my Blackberry back. Might be able to help you. Oh, well, that would be fantastic, because it, it actually belongs to my office. It's and gonna it... cost you 50 quid though, mate. No. All right, see you later. Yes. All right, great, cool. I think, I, I have to say, this is a bit rich, but I, I guess maybe there's certain administrative costs for you to bear and so on so uh, 60 it's gone up to 60 now mate really oh, just yeah. shut up man obviously this dynamic could go on indefinitely it's 60 well that... dude just shut up and you're giving cash even before he's shown you the blackberry he may not even have the blackberry you might just take the cash and run i would i this... would that's exactly what i would do mark is not street smart at all he's street dumb man not even men, boys. Let's be yeah, serious that's here. what it is. Man. I'm just like, what? Anyway, yeah. I want to sell things to him. You could be the, he'd be your first customer in your snake oil business. Yep, my snake oil business, exactly. Uh, oh my God. Will that really be it? Definitely. All right, cheers. Oh, listen, one more thing. Will you ask for it again, but like a lady in a lady's voice? I'm sorry? Ask for your Blackberry like a lady. No, I really think I might. Can I have my battery back, please? All right, listen, mate, I'll call you when I go, yeah? But he hasn't got my... Oh, no, of course, he'll have my number from when I called him. Yes, and I think he'll definitely be calling. Told you. Uh, he got played. No. Come on, Stu, you stupid monk. Come on, buddy. I watched you go in. You've got to come out. They don't have beds in churches, I don't think. Do they? Maybe they do for the vicars and... Jeremy? Shit, man, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Probably missed the moment to smack him now. How are you? Do you wanna... I'm just heading back in for Evensong. Are you okay, mate? You look like you could do with a... Might be nice, actually. Oh, <laughs> the hug. I'm finally getting the hug. He smells good. Those big arms. <laughs> I just feel so safe. <laughs> wow. That's a whole other level right there. He, he's just remember when uh mark was confused when he was on that trip with his boss he said, yeah, i don't know what to yeah. think he has a bmw and then he crashed the, his boss's bmw that's about where that is in yeah. terms of cringe and let's see if they got a chaperone for this movie oh my god i, I saw wallace and gromit on the ticker thing really so yeah it's a sign of uh the times of this show coming out
Wow. Oh, Jesus. I've got to get a hard on soon or we're finished. Maybe I was too quick to delete those spam emails about erection enhancement. One of them might just be from a misunderstood scientific genius. Oh, my. Is that... Is it... God, it is. It's him. The bloody mugger. Should I... Run? Can't run. Must maintain social veneer. Oh, God. Please don't hit me. Not here. I don't want to you. What? Me? I, I, I don't think so. I'm sure I know you from somewhere. I, I don't think so. You're, you're probably thinking I look a bit like one of the shadow cabinet. Can you give me a driving lesson when Carl was in the Canaries? No, definitely not. Not I, said the walrus. I'm surprised he's even taken his test. He doesn't look so mean. She must never know what a pathetic man I am. Never. I like it here. Feels calm, almost spiritual. I feel different. <laughs> this is a good song. Suze came down to check it out, actually. Hi, Jess. Isn't it nice down here? Look at all these lovely, normal people. Oh, she's beautiful. Like an angel. Oh, right. I get it. It's all a big love club down the church, except I'm not invited. The only clubs I'm invited to are horrible sex parties and Friends Reunited dues at TGI Fridays. Well, fuck you! <laughs> That's right, Stu. God didn't protect you from my big fist, you big lump of monk. What kind of person am I? I gotta hand it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, he got there. And he eventually, got there. he got there quicker than Mark will ever get there. So, I guess I wow. applaud him. I don't know. It's a pathetic victory for him. <laughs> we we do not condone violence around this these parts here. Oh, my God. Drugs are bad. Okay. All right. Oh, man. From my big fist, you big lump of monk. What kind of person am I? Sitting, watching a film in the company of a man who robbed me. If Dad knew, he'd call me a big Jesse in his extremely unfunny gay voice. I wish that guy in the baseball cap would shut up. It's annoying, isn't it? Am I just going to sit here and have my evening ruined by some asshole? Just like when I put my Parker on backwards for a joke and Terence Wu take the hood over my face and everyone laugh. Well, I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm not going to fucking take it anymore. Maybe that'll teach you not to rustle your bloody popcorn. He was really rustling. That's unacceptable. I can't believe you just did that. It was only the trailers, too. I just really love those orange ads. I just didn't expect that sort of thing from you, that's all. Well, I guess sometimes people can surprise you. You really whacked him. God, she loves <laughs> violence. They probably all do, really. <laughs> They say they want you to talk about your feelings, but really, they just want uh... you to beat and gouge your rivals. Hey, there's the stirring. The unstoppable rise. It's like globalization. It's inevitable. Hark at its stately progress. This is it. The eagle has landed. Mark, what's that in your pocket? <laughs> Captain Corrigan ready to receive his orders, sir. No, not that. The other thing. Oh, that's uh, just a little friend of mine called Mr. Cutty Knife. <laughs> In case I have to chop down a rival alpha male. Mark, you carry a knife. What the fuck? Oh, right. So they like hitting, but there's some massive taboo about stabbing. No, so it's not a knife, really. It's, what are it's you fun. doing, oh, dude? Horses hooves, whittling. Oh. Look, all right. It's just I'd, I'd like to learn kickboxing to protect myself. I'd, I just don't have the time. So basically what this is, is just a rather efficient what time What are you doing, dude? Put, put it away. Good. And of course he messed it up. Yep. And just like every sitcom that we check out so far, it's completely avoidable by talking and communicating. Yeah, yeah. it's good we have that subtext now, the, the voiceover thing. Yeah. Now we know what's actually going on. Good old Michelle. Cold but comforting. Kind of like a friendly Dalek. I think that guy's got a problem. He's like some kind of David Koresh, Archbishop Tutu-style religious maniac. Right. You're all done. Ready for some dirty playtime? Carry on the sex odyssey. But we've already done that. Oh, we did yours, Jez. Now it's time for mine. Oh, <gasps> God, no. I don't feel very well. Can't we do it some other time? Jez, we had a deal. But I really, <gasps> I really don't think I want to. You think the lady doth protest too much? It was a sort of deal, I suppose. Don't want to get a reputation as a deal welcher. Might stop me getting a mortgage. Maybe it'll be better if I imagine it's Stu. 
Just imagine it's lovely stew. <laughs> I told him to run because if, like, like I said, if she thinks threesomes are vanilla, you don't want to know what her <laughs> thing is. And oh my god, dude. That takes your girlfriend being a pain in the ass to the whole other level. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's my cue. I would have done run. Any, yeah. any psych, a psycho that says no when you're trying to break up, just run. Yeah, yeah. And and in that case, run facing backwards. That way, yes. if you trip. Yep. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Man, I'm with you. This was awesome. This was just obviously a two thumbs yeah. up. This, maybe that's not the right uh, maybe that's not after that. what a what a roller coaster man this season started off completely different than the last two he finally had the girl he mm -hmm. got the girl and he lost the girl because of anyway he usually he loses the girl because of communication and lack right. of right or yeah. no over communicating being yeah. so communicative it's stalker creepyish. This is the right. first time he's held back communicating, and it's effed him up. Man, you do. Nothing. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching, and thanks for your patronage. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Later.